Now, there's something you don't like, something that's bothering you. Good. It's driving you to turn to God. And by turn to God, I mean focusing your mind on our Heavenly Father. Right? So let's, for argument, say you've got an infection. Now, in the general sense, you don't wish to have an infection, except that it is forcing you to do something about it, in that you feel uncomfortable, you might be sneezing, you might have a sore throat, you might have a headache, whatever it is, whatever the discomfort or the displeasure is. Now, you take it to God. You think of your Heavenly Father. He's all-powerful, and he loves you. You are his child, his daughter, his son. So, he's all-powerful, he's allowing this because he loves you. So we're going to thank him for it, in faith, in trust. And thank him for the discomfort because it drives you to think of him to think of him is to be aware of his presence to be aware of him to be conscious of him we know he is conscious of us always else we would not exist we would just simply have vanished gone never been nothing no such person But if you like with Descartes, I think, therefore, I must exist. I'm existing to the extent that I'm convinced I'm actually thinking and aware and living. Therefore, he is thinking of me, for he is the all-powerful, all-creator, all-wonderful one. The only difference is that the illness is helping me to think of him. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for whatever this malady is, this illness. Thank you. I've got a cat who's just landed on the bed. He's um, just living with me now because he's um, having trouble with the family who own the house. And now live somewhere else, of course. Um, asked me if I could have the cat back here. So, of course, I said yes. He's a lovely big fellow. And he's just landed, uh, jumped up on the foot of the bed, next to my feet. I can feel the weight of him on the other side of the covers. Now for a moment you say, I was not thinking of God. But equally I was not thinking of the illness. Now I'm slightly aware of the headache, slightly aware of the throat. Good, it reminds me to think of you, Father. Thank you for the malady. Thank you for the, the passing illness. Thank you that you have made us wonderfully and magnificently. Our bodies are just staggering the way they heal. Your presence, you are life. You are God of the living, the living God. For all live unto you. Live and prosper and flourish eternally, wonderfully. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Love you. So I thank you for the symptoms. And if there is pain and there is virtually none now, a uh, slight headache, that's all that's tracing. I expect if I think hard, I could find some of the feeling in the throat. I'm not bothered. I'm thinking of you, Father, love you. And of course, thinking at the same time of um, communicating this in recording. So I'm sort of trying to speak my thoughts aloud. So he's an all-powerful Father that loved you. So you are free, most in wonderfully free, and encouraged to thank him, to trust him. It's your time to trust. And you do trust. You trust by saying thank you, Heavenly Father, for the 
discomfort. Mm, there's not much to do. discomfort to thank you for now. A trace above the eyes. Thank you, Father. Love you. And thank you for this cat who seems to be loving me. Happy to be near me. I think I'm just going to stroke him a second. There. Where are you, pussy? Oh, you're lovely. So are you. Yeah. Just sitting there, laying there, brother. So do you understand? Every difficulty in life, you're going to tackle it that way. You're going to be a person of praise, and you will find your whole being is utterly transformed and uh, translated. You are trans. You will transcend all of this world. All, all, all of this world, you will transcend by the simple habit of thanking God for anything that causes you to turn to Him. And part of the thanks is not just for the healing, it's for the fact it causes you, it trains you to eternally be aware of Him, to know Him. This is life eternal, to know Thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, the way. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Love you. And now I can't feel the head or the eyes, troubling nothing. Just love you. There's a trace somewhere above the right eye. Just enough to keep me loving you. Thank you. Love you, Heavenly Father. So, it's not that you need to call God to the situation. He dwells in you. He actually dwells not just in your heart, but in every Every molecule, every atom of the body, everything that is, is, because he thinks of you. And all you're doing with them praising him is joining him in those thoughts, and he translates those into that which transcends what was. You simply encourage him greatly, enjoy to change the thoughts to more harmony, more acceptable to you and to him and to all the host of heaven. That is what healing is. It's coming into a harmony. And anything that you find a discomfort or a concern is a lack of harmony to remind you to turn to it. In other words, it's self-regulating. The whole system is self-correcting perfectly because God made it. And it's incredibly simple. Anyone able to think and feel and hope, want to change and visualize change, just about anyone you could communicate with is able to do it. Isn't that wonderful? It's hard to get the animals to do it because you can't really communicate what the way is to them. No point in talking about Jesus to a dog or a cat. But perhaps there is. Perhaps there's something about your assurance, your loving presence and kindness that speaks into the heart of every creature. So you go into the world and you proclaim the gospel to every creature. The good news is that our Heavenly Father loves you and therefore that which is concerning you is a blessing and you're going to thank Him for it and that will turn the tide of everything 
because his thoughts and your thoughts thinking with him are all that is. There is nothing else. The whole universe, all universes, are simply his thoughts, which we are a part of. That's why prayer is effective, you see. But this isn't a prayer of saying, I must have, or I demand change, or I insist, or I make. This is a prayer of gratitude and thanks and praise for his loving kindness. It is a prayer of harmony, not a prayer of request or demand or insistence. It's a prayer of love and harmony, oneness. That's the difference. That's the way. Jesus is the way. Jesus means the saving way, the Saviour, Jesus, Saviour, Son of Zeus, Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshua, the Saviour, Yeshua. In other words, you come to control the mind which is what God does. He is in perfect control of his mind and you're learning to grow up as his child. You have perfect control of your mind and then all of heaven is open to you. You enter into the eternity that is. You and the host of heaven and our Heavenly Father, a wonderful family of gratitude, harmony, love, praise, all goodness. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Where we are going, we don't need criticism. It's not a blessing there. It's a blessing here where we're learning, in the transitory, in the universe of the transitory, in this world of uncertainty and uh, contrast. We need the contrast to learn where we're going. We don't need criticism at all. We don't need an eye. constantly track down the evil, for there is harmony, nothing but harmony, nothing but goodness, nothing but the love of God and each other, all faith, all trust, all joy, all peace, all goodness, all harmony. Because we've grown up there. We're adult members of the host of heaven. But as parents, here, in the world of the transitory, in the classroom of uncertainties, we need discernment. When something hits you is not right, not harmony, not love, not goodness, not of God, in the sense of this world, not of God. We turn to God, of course. We say, ah, oh, you're allowing this in harmony, this difficulty here, this presentment of such. But it can't be. You are everything, Lord God. So thank you for it. I trust you for it. The difficulty may continue. It may change in consequence. It will change if it's no longer needed. 
to bring us to you. If it's still there, it's because it's blessing us. And in faith, we're still thanking him for the blessing. That's who we are. Adults in the kingdom of heaven already. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you, Heavenly Father.